7.15 on Monday morning, I'm going to start packing all this dress. Unfortunately though, the product is not right. It's always so stressful, oh my god. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and it is time for another big studio vlog. I'm so excited for this one because I'm preparing for a very big shop update. It is currently the 18th of March and on the 30th of March I want to do a big shop update with lots of new products. I will show you the products in a bit that I already have but some of them are still arriving and I'm still working on some products but in this vlog I'm basically just going to take you along the ride of how I prepare for this because of course I made the products but then I have to take photos, create listings, do like marketing things and create posts for social media. So first let's take a look at some of the products that are going to be launched on May 30th. First of all we have two new bookmarks, one of them is just honestly one of my favorite bookmarks I've ever designed, it is this one and it is pink with a stack of books but as you can see it has like gold foil details look <laughs> i am so 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 happy with this one and a border as well and on the back it still says just a happy reading with my information that i always have on all of my bookmarks this is the first one then i also created a very fun one a very different one the style of drawing is also very different it is a little coffee house bookmark so basically what you would see in a coffee house you have a newspaper called the book times a little pancake plan notebook coffee a candle some flowers a book of course with can you see that is the bookmark that you just saw i'm hoping to add a tassel as well oh focus um, but I will still need to order tassels, but I hope to do a tassel on this bookmark. So keep an eye out for that. But then some more things on here. Again, another plant, a croissant with some strawberry jam and strawberries, some cookies, and just a knife and fork. And on the back, just as well. <laughs> this is such a fun one and I've never designed anything like this, but I really like the drawing style of this as well, because it's a bit more realistic. And normally I do quite like more cartoonish, but yeah, I like this style very, very much. So these are the two bookmarks. Who knows, might design a third one, but I'm not sure yet. But we also have some other things. <laughs> two little notepads i already have bigger ones let me see this size but these are really cute tiny ones that you can just also put on your desk if you want to make a little list of something so we have a sunflower one and a little galaxy with little star doodles and stuff so these two I'm really excited about those as well then we have something completely new this is the first time i've um created this product and it is a an enamel pin i'm so excited about this one it is a little book and it says moon child i <laughs> look and then on the back it has one of these i am so happy with this one so i hope that people are gonna like this and if you do i'm definitely going to design more of these pins probably maybe perhaps with some like glitter on there as well but this was just something to try out because i'd never done it before so i thought i'd go for something simple um but yeah if people like this i will definitely design more pins i'm still working on a few sticker sheets and i hope to finish those before my shop update but i already have one finished sheet namely this one this is like a retro themed vintage sticker sheet with just a lot of fun flower power retro things fun fact i actually did a collab with a good friend of mine trista she also is an illustrator and she um like we picked the same theme for a sticker sheet vintage slash retro and we both created the sticker sheet and told the viewers exactly how we do um like how we make a sticker sheet and what goes into it and then we sent each other the sticker sheet and unboxed it and then kind of comparing sort of our drawing styles seeing what type of things we thought of when we thought of um vintage and retro so if you want to check out that video you can check it out of there it's a really fun one where just two illustrators do a little collab with each other so this one and then also a bigger sticker namely this one this is a glossy sticker and as you can see it is the same illustration as on the bookmark but i thought it'd be fun to have like a big you know kind of the size of your hand and glossy so this is just like a single sticker for your journal or whatever for now this is it but i'm still waiting on two more products and as i said i hope to maybe design some more stickers or sticker sheets but this is already so exciting i can't wait to do another shop update because i haven't done like a bigger one with more products in quite some time like the last one i did was just a single product namely this notebook with a gold foil illustration on the cover um but that was just a single notebook but now i'm going to be doing some more uh, like more products in one go so i'm really excited for that okay that was a very long intro but i just wanted to um keep you updated on everything 
if the other products arrive i will of course show you those as well and yeah i really hope you're going to enjoy this studio vlog please do give this video a thumbs up if you do and subscribe so you never miss a future video but i will keep you updated on the entire process so i'll talk to you soon by the way i forgot products i will show you them in a bit also by the time this video is live the shop update will have already happened so you can check out the link in my description to see all of the products i made sure i have enough so um it won't be sold out anytime soon but i also decided to do like gift boxes and just with products that i already have in my shop but it's just for people who want to gift something to someone but they don't really know what so i've designed like gift boxes that i'm going to wrap very nicely and that you can just buy in one go so i will just leave a few photos here of all of the gift boxes that i currently have so they're just like for people who like reading people who like galaxies and stars journaling with stickers and stuff but i still have to um wrap all of those so i don't have to do it if someone buys it but i just have them already ready to go and yeah i thought it would be a fun thing to put in my shop as well for people who just don't really know what to get someone so those will also already be in my shop right now so i actually already took some photos of some products um last week and i just created two listings out of the like 10 or 15 i have to do and creating listings always takes so long to get all the tags right and the description and the price and the shipping and oh that's always my least favorite part is just doing all of these things but i now have two of the pin and of one of the gift boxes which is like a flower reader bookmark gift box with three bookmarks so a little success because i've made two but now i'm just going to make some more as you saw i just took some photos of the little notepads but I also got something in the mail. Unfortunately though, the product is not right. It hardly happens that something isn't printed correctly, but unfortunately it does happen. And it happened with this A5 desk planner that I really wanted to um, create. So it's this A5 desk planner from a distance. It looks, you know, good. However, if we look up close, it was printed quite strangely. I looked at the like sample that they gave me online and it does not look like that on the on the sample as you can see will it focus they sort of um see this weird lines here and then look this is not what's supposed to happen and the weird thing is some of them are big like they have more pages than the other ones so unfortunately i have to like i have to go and um file a complaint for this and i hope we can find a solution for this so yeah that is a pity but that sometimes also happens so i think i'm going to have to return these um but i will keep you updated on that but yeah this is not what i had in mind which is such a pity okay it's the next day how am I literally so unlucky this week when it comes to new products? Because I just got something else new in the mail. They're pencils and I was so excited for them. But they're also not what I wanted. Like not what they're supposed to deliver. Look, so they're cool gold pencils. They're just regular pencils, but they look really cool gold. And then this is black and it says Stay Well Moonshell. But literally every pencil, let's see if you can see will it focus can you see every stay the word stay is printed really weird there it is it's not printed right so you see all of these little dots of of gold throughout the word and here as well whereas the rest is printed nicely but every stay looks like this so again that's not something i want to sell that is so sad so i'm gonna have to contact the company to see what happened it's a new day and yesterday i suddenly felt so creative so i designed two new sticker sheets i'm actually working on the second one it's still not finished but the first one i completely finished i drew it i cut it i have the sticker sheet so the first one that's already finished is this one it has all of these flowers on it so like sunflowers and then flowers in a cup flowers in a book a little pancake plan flowers in an envelope another book so this is the first one i think it's so very spring and summery and i decided to redraw and kind of spice up one of my most popular sticker sheets which is it's this one it's the magical witchy one 
and I decided to just add some stickers as well but redraw it and I'm currently working on it and it looks like this so little potion bottles some tarot cards some crystals some books and I am loving this one I'm so happy with how this one is turning out so I'm going to finish this one today add all the shadows and details and stuff and then I'm going to print and cut that one as well so I will of course show you how I do all of that Okay, I finished the design. Now I just did some test prints with colors. So this is quite light. I like this. This is the same as this, I believe. And this is a little bit darker. Um, so now I'm just going to see which one I like best. And then I'm going to go with that one. But I'm so happy how this one is turning out. I think it just looks so fun. Okay, it is many days later. I don't even know the last time I filmed, but in a few days, it's currently Thursday. On Sunday, my shop update goes live. <laughs> the thing I still need to do is do the listings. I keep procrastinating, but I'm going to be doing it now. I also attached a lot of tassels to my new bookmark. These ones. So these are just a few for myself because I always like to keep, of course, like some of my own products. So we have one with a silver tassel and a gold tassel and then just a regular one. These have very limited stock. So I think by the time this video is live, they may be sold out already. But I talked about it a lot on my social media. So um, yeah, if they're gone, I hope to be restocking them one day. But for now, maybe they're gone. Maybe there are still a few left. You'll just have to um, check it out in the description. But these ones... And that means that I think I have all of the products ready. I kind of forgot how much I already showed you. Why is my memory so bad? I also took all of the photos. So I'm going to be adding those to the listings as well. And just, I want to make sure that all the listings are done by the end of today. And then on Sunday, it is time for my shop update. So I think I'll just, you know, see you on Sunday once I'm going to put everything live. And I'm just so excited. I've now been like creating some hype on my social media and saying that my shop update is coming. So I'm very excited. So yeah, I'll see you on Sunday when my shop update is happening. Hey everyone, it is Sunday. It is the day of the shop update and it is very sunny. I just went to the park with my friend and it's like 3.30 p.m. So the shop update is at 8. So I'm just going to take a shower and get cozy and then go through everything again. See if all the listings are correct. See if all the stock, you know, the amount of products I have is correct. Just make sure everything is right. And then at 8 o'clock, I will see you again once I'm going to put all the products live and i'm just so excited i'm also a little bit scared it's always like will everything work correctly you know it's just always a little bit stressful but i'm going to just take a lovely shower now and wash off all the stress and then i'm sure it will all go well i'm very much in my chill outfit but my shop update is in 10 minutes i'm a little bit stressed but i think i've checked everything and everything is correct all the listings are correct but yeah let's do this Okay, I think everything is live. <laughs> oh, it's always so stressful. Oh my god. Oh, I got the first order. Oh my god, that's always so exciting. Okay, I've calmed down a little bit. It's like 45 minutes later. Just your support is amazing. I'm just so overwhelmed again. Oh my goodness, thank you so, so, so much. So tomorrow is going to be a very busy day of packing, 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 packing orders. And I can't wait. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. So yeah, all the hard work. It's just like so worth it. 
Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep in a bit because I'm tired and I'll see you tomorrow once we start packing. <laughs> Okay, good morning. It is 7.15 on Monday morning. I'm going to start packing. I laid out all of my products like near me so it's easy for me to get everything. Let's take a look. So this is just my desk. I'm always watching some new girl whilst packing. Some notebooks. In this case, I have all of my bookmarks and my stickers and my washi tape. I put some boxes over there. Then just a box where I can put in some orders. And then over here, I just have some prints, some tote bags and just some envelopes and stuff. I'm first just going to start off with doing the Dutch orders and then after that I'll be doing the addresses like I have to type those in in my like shipping program and then after that I will work on the international orders. I don't know if I can finish all of them today but we're going to try. I just finished packing all of the Dutch orders, but now I'm going to have a little snack. I still had to cut some like backing um, things from cardboard. But now I'm going to have a little snack, rice cakes with chocolate sprinkles whilst just looking out the window and looking at the sun because it's so sunny. Okay, it is 11 a.m. I just finished packing all of the orders from Etsy. I have yet to do all of the addresses. I'm always like procrastinating with that one because that's like my least favorite thing to do because it's just boring. I have to do all of the addresses and like um, the... Oh my god, what do you call that? <laughs> At the airport, when the packages have to go through customs, that's what it's called. All the custom information, so like, this package contains one bookmark and one sticker sheet, you know? And that's annoying. But I'm going to be doing that in a bit. But this is the current, like, there's stuff everywhere. So again, the Dutch orders, and these are the Etsy orders that I have yet to put one of these stickers on, but I run out, so I have to make more. So these are all stickered with this basically Brit sticker, but these ones, they don't have a sticker on it yet. But I have to do all of the addresses for these and then still pack the orders from my own web shop. So I think for now, I'm going to do all of these addresses and just try to finish all of these so that those are done. Okay, I'm now going for a little walk because it is so hot outside and that means it's so hot in my apartment as well. And I just need some fresh air. It's like 1 p.m. now. I'm going to ship the Dutch orders right now and then the international ones will um, go out tomorrow. But yeah, I need to have a little break because I started at like 7.15 and I just had some lunch. So can you tell I'm not the best at taking breaks? <laughs> it is nearly 7 p.m. But I finished packing all of the orders that came in yesterday and today. It is a mess. 
here are all of the orders everything else is just a freaking mess look i still have to like put those in the shipping bags it's a mess it's a mess over here as well here i was just cutting last minute stickers because i've run out sticker paper groceries that i haven't really fully unpacked yet my kitchen complete chaos this is a chair where i just had dinner whilst looking outside because i just couldn't sit anywhere else <laughs> so i think now it really is time to clean up this mess i've also nearly watched an entire season of new girl so this day was a very good a very chaotic look more mess oh my goodness okay let's clean up Okay, it's the next day. I filled the bags with all the orders. So now I'm going to be taking them to the post office. But since all the orders from yesterday are packed, I think I'm going to end this studio vlog here because this was basically what it was all about. Just the run up to this big shop update. I really, really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more of these studio vlogs because I love filming them and I love just giving you a little behind the scenes of what it's like having an online shop. So if you did like it, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you will always know when I upload a new video. And of course, don't forget to check out my shop as well as my social media. I always leave everything down below in the description thank you so so much for watching i hope you're having a beautiful day and i'll see you in my next video bye